32 German Shepherds, one Rottweiler, rescued from deplorable conditions in Putnam County. Look at these pictures. Three of the dogs in the worst shape, still trying to be saved. I know a few of them passed away. The Me other too. dogs all taken to German Shepherds and Siberian Husky rescue for foster care until the criminal investigation is over. And Joni Zupan is the woman behind that organization, one of the ones that's helping, and she joins us live this morning with some of the dogs, one of the dogs, and what is needed right now. So good to see you. I know we I said dogs because yes. I wrote this yesterday and we were hoping to have a few more here, but yes. just this is the probably the healthiest. And Dean, thank you too. I know um, you are actually helping <coughs> to foster this um, German Shepherd as well. Can you first tell us when you got called out to this scene, what what did you see? Um, horrific horrific um, conditions. Dogs were probably left there to die. Um, the ones that couldn't be adopted, and um, um, it's an ongoing criminal investigation, so yeah. I can't say a lot. But um, but. The dogs would have died if we wouldn't have got there when we did. Yeah, I know you have been yeah. up since Sunday. Yes. You're, you've lost Friday. your voice since Friday, excuse Friday. me. <laughs> um, and again, mm. Hyde is the dog that, that we have here. Um, I'm not going to make him move, but if you can <laughs> see, yes. he is just, his back side is so thin. Yes. What are the conditions right now of these animals? Um, well, I've got them all in foster care with different rescues right now. <laughs> just bear with me because it's yeah. my pet yeah. throat. Um, and uh, they're all, they've all been groomed. We groomed all of them um, on Saturday, but then we've uh, put them into foster care with other rescues, which now they are grooming them again and again and again, yeah. five yeah. times, some of them. Yeah. Like this one was groomed five times. Um, the nails on them are just horrific. They're, they're, which I've got. Oh my goodness! Yeah, marks you scratches all over from me yeah. um, from from dealing with them. Yeah. So they they definitely um, we're trying right now to work with the vet. Mm -hmm. Get them all into the vet. Yeah. And get everything documented. And, yeah. You we're, know. We're, we're talking emaciated. We're talking some oh. maggots. Some that didn't survive. What happened we, to them? Um, we do know. I do know that um, two have passed away. Uh, or couldn't be saved. Um, there was several that had maggots mm. eating mm. private part areas. Mm. Mm. Um, there was things like that. So mm. I don't know. The vet would know a lot more yeah. about that yeah. because those got emergency ran to the vet. So yeah. um, I've, I've been just overseeing, making sure they're out, they all stay safe. Yeah. Um, and they all stay in foster care. Yeah. Or even at my restaurant. Yeah. Where I trust people, yeah, and I know that they won't, you know, lose them, right? Because some of them are skittish. Yeah, well, and I, I and only have a minute left. And I know that these dogs cannot be; they're <clears throat> they're basically right now on the care of the sheriff's department and animal yes. control because they're part of an investigation. Yes, um, and that we're not talking about that part. But right. in this last minute that we have, can we talk about? I mean, we, this is expensive, and I know just the, the vet that's trying to save the lives of these. I mean, these are thousands and thousands of dollars. Yes. If what one do you dog, guys, yeah, if one dog turns out heartworm positive, it's going to be a fifteen hundred dollar, twenty five hundred dollar bill, um, and then you got to think these are under a criminal investigation, and we could get another case tomorrow. Yeah. Um, and we have to hold those types of dogs at rescues until they're free to be adopted. Aww. And until, and also, so it could be a month, it could be a year, we don't know. And every, every day that a dog or a month that a day a, a dog is at the rescue um, or with one of our fosters, then we have to give them flea tick and heartworm preventative every month. We have to worm them. Um, <laughs> come, come here, boy. Come we have to do all that. Can come see me? Pick him up a little bit. Come, come see here. me? He's tired. Well, they gonna, get exhausted really yeah, fast. We're right going to put on uh, fox59.com how you can donate if you would like to donate. And we do need kennels. You need kennels still. We need, yes, at my rescue, we need kennels bad okay. right now. Okay, so we all, that, that'll be online. And Dean, thank you for sitting in. I know this mm -hmm. is, you're the one that gave the dog the five baths so far. Yeah. And um, <laughs> it, it, how how is the dog in your the personality so far? It just seems oh, he's, so sweet. He's sweet. He's, he's so, so intelligent, yeah. too. Um, he's learning fast. Well, Aww. Well, thank you again. Um, just good hearts here to help these animals. Yes. Oh, I was hoping that I could pet you. Thank you for coming <laughs> over. If you would like to help with the care of the animals, we will link you to Joni's fundraiser, and you'll be able to find it at fox59.com slash Angela Answers. And I know you guys will take good care of them and yes. get, them, get them back up to weight.